Hello and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm your host Jag Thunder and this is Minecraft. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to mod out your 1.1 game. The mods that we'll be focusing on uh, are going to be single player commands, too many items, Zom's mod pack, build craft, industrial craft, and red power, and also world edit. You're obviously going to be needing a lot of files to be doing this. Uh, don't worry about these other uh, ones I have in here, the Journey Map and Better Than Wolves. Uh, the Better Than Wolves does not play nice with others as far as uh, with Forge and all these other ones that I'm doing, unfortunately, because that's what I really wanted to do for this tutorial. But I've got some other good mods here anyways. Some helpful tips that I'd like to share in this tutorial. Uh, I like to create a folder on the desktop and put all my mods in that. That way I know where they're all at. And then I also like to get myself just a plain vanilla copy of Minecraft, and I'll show you how to get that here in just a second, and also put that in the folder. That way if I make any mistakes, I don't have to re-download it every time. Now I'm going to go over each mod individually and tell you exactly which one that you need. Um, as far as up to date of this video, you will use all the latest downloads for each uh, mod, except for uh, Forge, and I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, the first one that you're going to need is Mod Loader, and just get the latest version, whatever it is. And then the next one you'll need is Mod Loader MP 1.1 version 2. And then you'll need Single Player Commands MC 1.1.0 version 3.1.1. Then you're going to need Too Many Items 20, 12, underscore, 01, underscore, 12. You'll also need Zom's Mod Pack version 5.10 and then you'll also need the forge that goes along with that you'll get that off the same page as Zom's, Zom's mod pack and it'll be forge 1.3.1 and the version for the Zom's uh, mod pack forge is 5.10 and then you'll also need MC patcher 2.3.2 and then you will need forge itself and this is the one that I was talking about you can't get the 1.3.2 as of to date. You will need the 1.3.0. For some reason, that's the only one that works with this, uh, with this modification. And then you're going to need Red Power. And just go to the page and get all the... There's seven files all uh, in total and the 2.0. And those are all zips. And then you're going to need Buildcraft. And you're going to get the 2.2.12. And then the final one that we'll need will be uh, World Edit CUI 1.1a. Okay, so let's start modding. Uh, before you mod, I'm going to stress this like a few times. Back your shit up. Always back your shit up before you start modding. Otherwise, when you mod, um, the new mods will take over the old mods, and then what you had before will be gone. So the easiest way to do that is to take your Minecraft folder and, and put it on the desktop. So you want to go down to the, uh, your start bar. You want to type in uh, in the run command percent app data percent, and that'll bring up your roaming folder. And inside at the top is your dot Minecraft folder. All I do is I right click it, cut it, and then paste it onto the desktop. Now it's completely out there. Now all you have to do is start up your Minecraft client, sign in, and it'll automatically down the one, uh, download the 1.1 version, all the jar files, and everything that it needs. After the game is started up, go ahead and close it out. Always close out your game before modding, otherwise it'll corrupt your files. So now that it's closed out, let's begin. Go back to the start bar and find the run command and type in percent app data percent. It should already be there and click enter. Or if you just minimized it, pull it back up from the toolbar. And inside we have the dot minecraft folder. Open that up and you're going to look for the bin folder. Open that up and then you're going to find the minecraft jar. And it's this one right here and uh, basically click it and open it up or right click and open with WinRAR or Win7 and now you're inside and this is where our mods are going to go. The very first thing you want to do is delete the MetaImp folder. That's very important. If you do not delete that, you will get a black screen. Now this is a pretty advanced tutorial on modding your Minecraft folder, so if you haven't done any modding before, I suggest watch some other videos on modding. Uh, if not, let's continue. The first one you want to grab is Mod Loader, and you want to do the same thing as you want to open that up, you want to click all the files and you want to drop them into the .minecraft jar. Once you're done with that, 
you want to do the mod loader MP, do the same thing, click all the files, and pull them in. And then the next one you want to do is forge, and open that up, and grab all these files, and drop them into the .minecraft folder. Now grab the too many items, and pull all these files, and drop them in. Uh, at this point, uh, let me note that too many items I install twice. I put it in at this point so I can start the game client up and make sure up to this point everything works. You'll have to put it in again because the next mods that we put in after this will actually overwrite the too many items. So too many items will go in at the end one more time. I hope that makes sense for everybody. Now close out this folder that has your .minecraft jar in it and go back to your roaming folder. You want to back up one folder and right here you want to create a new folder called mods, M-O-D-S, and it's got to be lowercase, and I have already have it here in a folder, so I'm just going to kind of copy it over. But anyways, you want to create that folder, and on the inside, this is where you want to put your build craft and your industrial craft, and also all the red power ones. Make sure you get them all. And then at this point, I close everything out, and I test the game. Okay, so at this point, you can see that too many items is working, and there's 12 pages here at the top, and you can scroll through them each couple pages, and you can see that Buildcraft is in here, and Red Power, and all that good stuff. Okay, now that you've checked everything, just go ahead and close the game client out, and go back to the desktop. Always make sure you close the game, uh, the game client out before modding. All right, now part two of this. Um, just get your uh, .minecraft folder percent app data percent, or if you minimized it, bring it back up. And now we're going to do MC Patcher. Double click on it and run, and it'll scan it, and it'll tell you that your client has already been modded. Just click OK, and then just click all of these, the uh, better grass and all those, and then just click Patch. All right, the next one that we need is single player commands. Open that up and grab everything inside except for the world edit jar. We'll get to that here in just a minute. And also note, at this point, there are now two Minecraft jars in here. You want just the regular one, the .minecraft, the .11 or 1.1. You don't, you don't want to be working in that jar file. You want to be working in the .minecraft one still. All right, the next one that we'll need is Zom's Mod Pack. Open that up. You'll see the Classes folder. Open that, and you'll grab all the class folders or files and drop them in. All right, the next one is Zom's Forge. Grab those four files and drop them in. And then finally, do too many items just like you did before. Grab them all and drop them in. All right, now you're going to go back to the Mods folder and open that and create a new folder called Zomb, Z-O-M-B-E, lowercase. You're going to open that up, and then you're going to open the Zomb's Mod Pack back up again. And here you can see the uh, Config folder. Open that and grab all these text documents and drop them into the newly created Zomb folder. Okay, while we're in this folder, go ahead and double click on the config text document with notepad. And this is where we configure the Zoms mod pack. The only ones that I worry about is the build mode and the fly. So just scroll down to the build and the little number sign right here next to build enabled. Just uh, delete that. That'll enable the build. And then I just scroll down to where it says digging speed and I bump that to four. And that's, that way the blocks, you know, smash quicker. And then distance where one can build. Uh, I put that at 30. That way you can reach out further. And then scroll down a little further to Fly Mod. Enable that by deleting the number sign. And then you can leave these uh, letters here the same. I changed mine to capital J, capital N, capital M, just because that's what I'm used to doing. And then if you scroll down further, you can see all the the speed, speed enablers. You can speed them up and all that. The one that I worry about is whether no clip mode is enabled by default. And I just changed that from no to yes. Now we're going to take care of the world edit jar. Uh, basically, we're going to open up the single player commands again, and we're going to take the world edit jar, and we're going to drop it in right where the .minecraft jar is. Not in with the Minecraft jar, but in the folder where that's at in the, in the .minecraft bin folder. All right, the next one we're going to do is world edit. Open this folder, open that folder, and open this folder. Anyways, you're looking for the WECU, the small one. Go to your Minecraft jar. And you're going to drop just a small folder inside of the jar file here. Okay, and then close that out. Uh, and then we're going to go back one page to the, uh, the mods folder, open that. Go back and grab the big folder and copy that and paste that in with the mods. 
and close everything out and we can go test the game. Everything should be good. Okay, if you did everything right, then everything should load up and you should be able to get into your single player world that you created and check things out. And when you start up, it'll say down in the corner, uh, single player uh, commands are installed. Um, I've already started this up for a second, that's why you don't see it right now. But you can check it by, obviously I've got the, uh, the text bar and you can enter stuff in right there. But we're gonna go ahead and check the inventory. We still got our 12 pages. So we're good there with our build craft and our redstone and uh, red power and all that good stuff. And also too, the Zom's fly mode. I hit my J button so I can fly and N to climb and M to go down. As you can see up top, we've got the no clip and we can go underneath the earth. That's why I like the Zom's mod pack better than single player commands because you actually can't do that. You will get stuck in the blocks and it just looks, looks very weird to me. So I don't like using that. Uh, also too, uh, part of the Zom's mod pack, uh, as you can see, you know, normal clicking, I can't break the block. If I hit B and the builder comes on, it, it instantly breaks up to the normal five blocks away. The reach that we installed, the 30, um, to get that, all you have to do is type T slash reach 30 or 40 or whatever you want to do. And now your reach is set with the builder on and you can s smash blocks up to 30 30 blocks away uh, turn that back off and you still reach up to 30 blocks but it's just normal uh, hitting on the blocks so anyways turn that back on and you can smash them away uh, the next thing that I want to show you is the world edit real quick and what we'll need will be a uh, wooden axe so pull that from the inventory and this works with a left click and then a right click and you can find tutorials on how to use this I just want to show you that it does work and what we put in was these grids so you can see what you're doing and we're just going to turn this to wood real quick just like that and then deselect it and you're back in business so that's everything i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial i hope you got a lot out of it uh, it's a little confusing watch it a few times you'll get it, it took me a few times to get it too uh, remember rate comment and subscribe follow me on twitter and we'll see you on the next one later